there, Tessa here with Loom. So at this point, you might be thinking, I love the idea of communicating asynchronously, having less meetings, and communicating more efficiently and effectively with my colleagues, but I'm just not sure where to get started. What's a good use case for Loom? And that's where I'm here to talk to you about the pre-watch. This is a great use case and a great place to get started. So you can record a Loom before a meeting, send it to just one colleague that you're comfortable with, and be the catalyst for change at your organization so more and more folks start communicating asynchronously. You might even see less meetings on your calendar. So what I'll do is at the beginning of every week, I will actually go into my calendar and I will say, okay, what of my meetings are a one-way dissemination of information? And just to point out a specific example, I know I have this meeting with my manager where I'm actually reviewing a presentation that I'll be giving in a few weeks. So instead of just putting it on his calendars and saying presentation review, I actually will send him a loom. So I'll go through my slide deck talking about key topics, where I might need his input, send it to him. He'll watch the loom, comment, react. And then when we get into that live meeting, it's going to be much more collaborative. He'll be putting in his input. We won't spend time with me actually going through the whole deck. So you can start with just sending a loom to a colleague. I know I also am working on this uh, welcome packet for our customers. And this is a more collaborative project with a few people. And you can see loom is a new behavior for a lot of folks. Even for me at times, I'll forget, hey, we can just do this asynchronously. So you can actually see here, uh, I had a meeting on the calendar. I went ahead and canceled it and said, you know what? We don't actually need to meet today. This is definitely something where I can just record my thoughts. You guys can comment and react and, and we're good to go. So. Think about your calendar, the next few meetings you have, and which ones can you send a pre-watch and make you know a little bit more efficient as a meeting. And then eventually, perhaps you can replace the meeting entirely. Highly recommend you start with a pre-watch and happy recording.